The Muslim founder of a women's rights group says the international Muslim community has been slow to express condemnation of the abduction of students. Uh, VOA's Pam Dawkins has the story. The faces of these young girls held captive by Islamist militants have fueled anger and shock around the world and raised questions about why more Muslim leaders have not come forward in their defense. The CEO of the Cairo-based Karama group, Hibak Osman, says there has not been enough noise in the Muslim community. There are absolutely statements here and there, but in terms of really up in arms and, you know, going into the streets, uh, we haven't seen that. She says this could be because the victims are girls who are trying to get an education. If we look at uh, women's rights in general, um, you really, you know, there is uh, not only just in the Islamic communities, but in many communities you, you have uh, major problems with women's rights. And uh, people react, um, you know, um, more slower. During the past five years, Boko Haram has terrorized Nigeria with dozens of brutal, deadly attacks. The group says it is fighting to establish strict Islamic law in the country's north. The international community had been relatively silent about the attacks, says Ibrahim Hooper of the Council of American Islamic Relations. But he says that's changed. The kidnapping of the schoolgirls really woke up the world and woke up, uh, uh, quite honestly, the Muslim community as well to what's going on there. The girls' plight has spurred a string of protests like this one in Washington. Hooper says Muslims are among those who are expressing outrage. You've seen uh, Muslim scholars, Muslim organizations and institutions around the world condemning uh, Boko Haram and its actions. Boko Haram claims to embrace Islam, but Hooper says the militants are trying to hijack the religion to advance their cause, whatever that cause may truly be. Pam Dawkins, VOA News, Washington.